All right, guys, before we get too far into the episode, I just wanted to let you know that these liars came in from a dude named Fletcher Simones. I'll put his Instagram right here because he wanted me to shout out his Instagram page. Uh, but yeah, he sent in these liars. I went ahead and opened them because I knew that they were coming and I wanted to get them out to Joey Fabulous so he can convert them for me. I think this is gonna be in Iowa and this is gonna be a Freddy versus Jason and they're gonna be super sick and they're gonna look great with the ones that he has on the way to me right now. So, thank you very much Fletcher for sending these in and hopefully you guys get to see these bad boys converted into something pretty cool soon, so. Well, it's been a minute since we've done a Mailbox Monday. I hope that I am still decent at this, but we do have a good amount of stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and start opening things. Let's jump right into it. First off, we've got envelopes. Why well, don't we start with the envelopes, just in case there's some new people here that haven't caught up on Mailbox Monday before. This first one is from my buddy, Jimmy Theodo, and I believe I know what's in here, and they're sick. Got a note here first, and it reads, Yo, Slipnoquatine stickers are now available. This is the best project I've done to date, in my opinion, so I wanted to send the first set into Mailbox Monday. I hope you dig them, dude. To everyone else that may be interested, sets are $25 shipped anywhere. Package includes 10 original designs with the goat hand banana on silver something like the original Iowa cover. Private message or direct message me for your copy, limited to only 25 sets. Facebook.com slash museum of random. Instagram museum underscore of underscore random and these things look dope and he sent in before some of you guys might remember the Hasbro Slipknot mashup and if you've been paying attention to my Instagram I just did one of his Rugrats Chucky and Child's Play Chucky mashup tattoos on somebody and they're sick so let's see what we've got here first of all as he said we've got the holographic goat hand banana which is the coolest thing I've ever seen I actually have a hand banana tattoo some of you guys uh, might know that. We've got Meatwad Craig. We have Silver Jim Moon Knight. We got Chris, cannot remember the name of this little stupid creepy doll thing. We've got another Moon Knight as Joey. We've got MCP Pants with Corey. Probably my favorite, and the, the caption he put on the photo was really fucking funny, so if you guys go over there and check that out, that's hilarious. Mick as Frylock. Sid Shake. And then, I can't remember this dude's name, but it's the box that's Meatwad's best friend as Paul with a fro. So yeah, those are dope, dude. These might be my favorite as well because I really, really like Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Honestly, and not to sound ungrateful here, but I'm actually sad that you only send me one set of each one because I want to stick them on things, but I also don't want to stick them on things because I want to keep them. So, I need to buy some. I need to just go on there and buy a bunch of sets of these. Thank you, Jimmy. These things rule. Okay, moving right along. We have one here from Brandy Shire. I also believe that I know what these are. And we haven't gotten something like this in a while, so you guys need to step your game up. I hate AJ Good, of course. Some rotten teeth. Boom, 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 boom. It's the first ones we've gotten in a while, so I'm pretty stoked on those. I will throw them in the jar here in just a second. Thank you, Brandy. We've got something from Tyler Blevins. It says, please put in the video on the back of the envelope. Looks like a mask and a note, so we'll see here. It says, hey, my name is Tyler Blevins, and dude, I love your channel so much. Like, my love for your channel is bigger and thicker than Corey Taylor's neck, and I'm going to keep this short because my handwriting is garbage, but yeah, I hope you like the Little Jim Root Mask. I know it's not the best out, but I tried. Just stay awesome. P.S. I hate AJ Good, and then he drew a House of Masks mask up logo and then it says by the way my insta is the underscore super underscore beast if you want to check out my other masks look how adorable this little gym root mask is <laughs> that is so sweet thank you very much tyler i appreciate it if you guys want to check out his other stuff go do so next up we have a tubular box just a tube this is just a tube. This is from Steve Pearson. He is a very good tattooer down in Tennessee. In Black 13 Tattoo Parlor. Check them out. You can go follow him on Instagram. And he's also a mask collector with some very cool old vintage style pieces. I think he has a mask account and a tattoo account. And then on this side of the tube we have, I hate AJ Good, of course. 
Okay, these things are fucking dope. And this isn't going to be for the average mask collector or tattoo collector. This is for people that are super interested in both of those things. They're fucking dope. I'm so stoked that he sent me these. Look at that. These are like flash sheets he did of vintage masks. Insane. This is the one that made me want them because look at this. Everybody's on there. It's the coolest old shit. Look at that artwork. Don't worry, I will go over this at the end of the video and let you guys take a very good look at this. These things are dope. I need to frame these. I'll probably hang them at the shop because for one thing, I don't want them to get torn up. And I mean, it's tattoos and masks. Those are the two things that I do put together. So thank you very much, Stevie. These are rad. Thank you. And thanks for the sticker. I fucking love stickers. Put that on the Subi, which I broke. Somehow we got it fixed and two days later, I snapped the axle, so. Awesome. Okay, now we're moving on to boxes. We have one from no name, but it is an overseas package. I honestly can't tell what it is. I still 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 can't tell. Yeah, I can. Uh, cool. I've been expecting this for a minute. This is a, I think it's a Val V-Man mask. I don't think this is a Joel. Uh, the zipper is different and I think the sculpt just looks a little bit different. So this is going to be my original V-Man and then the one that I have right now is going to be my face paint version. And then um, I want to grab a V2, like the re-sculpted version that he wore at Knotfest and stuff from Ozzy. So here's that. I'm gonna try to rework some things on this. Like, I don't think the zipper's accurate, but I got this for a good deal. Guess I forgot that I even got it because I wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, there's that. Probably gonna rework it. Next up, we have one from No Name Circleville, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes away from here. There's a good chance that this is the Circleville Santa guy from uh, one of our Christmas episodes. He, like, gave me a shining ring key and he gave September a Christmas pickle. Got a note. Dear AJ in September, here's a couple goodies for you. I included a Slender Man for AJ and some cats for September. I made them out of pipe cleaners. I also put in some four leaf clovers that I found. I hope they bring you good luck and success with the House of Masks. P.S. Halloween is right around the corner from the Great Circleville Pumpkin. So he's no longer the Santa, he is the Great Circleville Pumpkin. Wow, these are adorable. I think I might be more excited than September when she sees these. I'll record her reaction to getting these, by the way. Girl. This is from that Circleville Santa guy, but he changed his name to the Great Circleville Pumpkin. He made these. Oh! They're so cute, I thought they were tiny mice. He made me a Slender Man out of pipe cleaners too, and it's badass. I feel dumb because half of my mouth is numb. She just got back from the dance yesterday. These are so cute! That's what I said. He loves me. Look at these little tiny cats! Okay, I need to chill. <clears throat> it's not metal. Four leaf clovers, look inside. Anthrax, no. Wow, they really are four leaf clovers. I've never seen one in person. I know people that have found them and stuff, but I've just never been lucky enough to find them. Dude, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but these definitely dried out and lost that extra leaf. So here's two leaves. Oh no, they're just cracking in my hands. So. It's the thought that counts and I really appreciate it. And I definitely think these were four leaf clovers before they dried out and cracked in the mail. And the Slender Man is fucking terrifying, even just made out of pipe cleaners. That's fucking legit. You need to make these and sell these to people, dude. That's fucking cool. That's one of the coolest things I've gotten in a while. Well, I appreciate it. Circleville Great Pumpkin. Moving on to what I think is another overseas box. It's from Walter. Sick. Very excited. I'm gonna have Joey Romero paint this up for me. I wonder how fucking big this is gonna be on my head. That's what everybody wants to know. As soon as they found out that I was getting one, they wanted me to put it on because these are huge. So let's see, let's see what we got. Looking good. The sculpt itself is fantastic. Honestly, um, not trying to sound like an asshole here, but I think that Walter knows this. Um, he needs to change the way that he runs his molds because I think he runs fiberglass right now. I think, but he needs to run plaster and these things will turn out a lot more consistent as far as pools go and stuff. I don't know if you can tell, but Joey is going to have to Dremel some of that nose lip off, which is not a big deal whatsoever. Um, and it really doesn't affect the way the mask looks. Like if it was painted, you probably wouldn't notice, but now that I've seen it blank with that on there. But other than that, this is a pretty goddamn good sculpt. 
This is definitely one of the best Iowa clowns out there. I think his holidays and Brandon's all have really really good things that come really close with each other they all look really well and this is definitely one of the best so far now the moment of truth I gotta try this big ass thing on it's not powdered so I'm gonna rip all my fucking hair out <laughs> it's so big <laughs> oh my god so there you go me and a Walter clown. Didn't even rip my hair out because it's so big that there was no tight grip there. But yeah, that thing's gnarly. I can't wait to see it painted up. All right, last but not least, we have a big flat box from Doesn't Say. There's a note inside. Hey AJ, hope the artwork got to you safely. Keep up the good work. Mitch McAuliffe on Instagram. I think this is the bear drawing. It's a lot bigger than I expected. It looked like a tiny sketch online, unless he put it in a big frame. Holy shit, look at that. It is way bigger than I thought. Man, that is cool. I'm trying to get it not to glare because I got these lights right in front of me. How fucking sick is that? Thank you very much, Mitch. Hands down, one of the coolest Fan Art Friday pieces ever. I love it. I'm gonna make sure McAllister sees it too. All right, so that's gonna be it for this episode. As always, I'm gonna lay this stuff out, let you take a look at it, and then I've got a big fucking mess to clean up. If you guys would like to send something in, the address is always in the description below, and it is always in my Instagram bio. I appreciate everybody that sent stuff in. It's been a good week for not having an episode for three or four weeks, and uh, I've debated slowing down and doing a Mailbox Monday for each month because the past month has been pretty rough for stuff being sent in, and I don't know if it's just a dry period or what, so if we have enough mail to do one next Monday, then by all means we will, but if not, we'll probably slow down to do like the last Monday of each month. That way we can do like January Mailbox Monday, February Mailbox Monday, March Mailbox Monday, or whatever, starting with March. So we'll see how it goes. Um, thanks to everybody that sent in, I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna lay it all out and let you guys take a look at it, and we will see you later.